So normally it's not possible to download genuine Adobe apps from the official Adobe website, unless you have a free Creative Cloud trial. This means you need a credit card to start the trial. And only then you can download any Creative Cloud Adobe apps. Most people don't like this though. However, it is possible to download Adobe apps from Adobe without a credit card. And many people like you may not be aware of this method. So in this video, I'll show you how to download and install any Adobe app using an Adobe Admin Console account without needing a credit card. You'll get access to all the download links for Adobe apps directly from the Adobe website. So there's no chance of virus infection on your system. Plus, these are full offline packages, which means you can install them on multiple computers, even if you don't have direct internet access on your system. Before we begin, let's make one thing clear. You won't get any kind of free subscription or license. You'll only have access to the direct download links from Adobe. The best part is that you can download any Adobe app for both Windows and Mac OS. I'm using Windows, so I'll go with the Windows installer. Simply click on the download icon to get the full offline installer of your desired Adobe app. Isn't that super easy? Next, you can even customize your app package. Let me show you how. Click on the Customize icon right here. Then choose the architecture and language for your app. After that, select the apps you want. For example, I've already selected the Photoshop app. Now, if I need another app, say Acrobat Pro DC, I can add it to my custom package. This will install both apps when I run the setup file. You can also add any extensions from Adobe if needed. I don't need them, so I'll just click on Next. If necessary, change these settings and click Next again. You can also change the package name, but for this video, I'll use the default name, Photoshop. Remember, this custom package will install both Acrobat and Photoshop. Once you're happy with your selections, click Create Package. You'll see the status of your package creation, and it'll take a few minutes. Okay, once that's done, your package will start downloading automatically. For me, the package for Photoshop and Acrobat is about 7 gigabytes. Once it's downloaded, extract the ZIP file and run the setup file to begin the installation.
Now, you might be wondering, how do you get access to the Adobe console account? It's simple. Just search for temporary email address on Google and visit any website that provides temporary emails. This is just to protect your privacy and security. Then send me your random or temporary email via Telegram and I'll add you to my admin console account as a deployment administrator. This will allow you to download any Adobe apps from the Adobe console. You'll get an email from Adobe, and if you don't already have an Adobe account linked to this email address, you'll need to create one. Honestly, you can use any details here. Once you've completed all the steps, you'll land on this page and you'll know exactly what to do from here. Just go to the package section and download or create your own package, as I've already shown you earlier in this video. Finally, that's all for today's video. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more useful videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.